For the News Channel 5 Network, I'm Carrie Sharp with a check of your headlines. Police say one Titans fan took his anger about Sunday's loss too far, threatening people with a gun at a barber shop. They report Timothy Douglas pulled out a gun inside Miles Barber Shop around 5 p.m. Sunday as the Titans game was wrapping up. The shop's owner said Douglas, a regular customer, came into the store upset and then pointed the gun at a barber who trash talked the Titans. Witnesses say Douglas went on to point the gun at others, saying he would, quote, kill every one of them. Douglas's wife convinced him to leave, but then he pinned someone outside against a wall. Thankfully, no one was hurt. Douglas is charged with aggravated assault and felon in possession of a firearm. A McGavick High School student is charged with carrying a gun on campus and multiple counts of auto theft. Police report 18 year old Sidani Bufford arrived at school today in a stolen Toyota Highlander. They say Bufford got out of the Highlander and put a stolen pistol into another car's trunk and that's where police found it. He is charged with two other vehicle thefts just in the past week. A woman was hit by a car and killed in West Nashville tonight. Police responded to Charlotte Pike and Watts Lane just after 430. The woman was taken to the hospital where she died from her injuries. Are you looking for a furry friend to bring home? This is the weekend to do it. Metro Animal Care and Control is offering a special deal starting Friday in honor of National Peanut Butter Day. Dog and puppy adoptions are half off, plus you will receive a jar of peanut butter and a Kong chew toy. The promotion runs Friday through Sunday. Let's get a check of the weather now with meteorologist Heather Mathis. Well, it certainly has been a tough night to take the dogs outside. We have had rain and more rain across the area. Those showers look to continue as we head over overnight, but thankfully rain will be more scattered and spotty going into the day tomorrow. Temperatures not moving too much overnight tonight. We make it to the mid to lower 40s, only the upper 40s by Friday morning. Friday night we'll see cold air moving in, and if we have enough showers still lingering around, we could briefly see a rain snow mixture by early Saturday morning. No accumulations expected. High staying in the 40s through the weekend, 50s by next week.